morning my dear students you know me very well i am the assistant headmaster of your school this year like previous years i am going to teach you english in class 9 so uh, today we'll be doing one poem the name of the poem is the road not taken by robert frost and in the meantime uh, the poem i was talking about is from this book. Do you see the book? The name of the book is Beehive. So you open at page number 15 and let us start reading the file. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. The Road Not Taken is a symbolic poem. The road symbolizes our life. In this poem, the poet says that the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken. Here, by the expression, the road, he means the important decisions that we make in our life in order to save our future. When we are young, we have many choices to choose from. But as we grow up, we have only few choices. Likewise, you are reading in class 9 now. You still have many options or many paths are often in front of you. If you chose the right path from now, there will be no repentance in your life. Well, this is a diverse road and you see one road is going to the left and the other on the right. So the poet was really undecided which side to go. Anyways, let us try to read the poem as we read will be able to understand the content of the file. Two roads diverse in yellow and sorry I could not travel both. And be what traveler? Long I stood and I looked down as far as I could to where it went in the underworld. Now let's try to understand the meanings. Diverse means separated and took a different direction. Yellow means a wood with decomposing leaves, undergrowth means the dense growth of plants and bushes, meaning forest. Now, let us try to explain the foil. The foil was walking down the road. Suddenly he found out that the road got diverse. He, being only one person, cannot take the two foot at the same time. Standing there, at the diversion, he was really far flex as he was unsure which road or the path to take. He kept standing there and looked at the path very carefully as far as he could see it. He could see the path up to the point where it was curved, after which it was covered with trees and bushes. Now let us take a look into the second stanza. Then took the other just as fair, and having fair ups, the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted way. Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same. These are the word meanings. Fair, as good as the other. Claim, better option. Grassy, unused. Wanted where had not been used. Let us try to explain the second stanza. The poet could not take his decision because he was very unsure which road or fight would be better for him. In the end, he thought that both roads seemed fair to him. Taking this decision, he started walking down the road thinking that that road might be promising for him because it was full of grass and nobody might have taken that road yet. After working for some time, he realizes that both the path had been similarly worn out. The poet wants to tell us that even in our life, we may take any path or option, but all of them are having the same benefits, disadvantages, problems and challenges. We think that we are choosing a better option, but it may be wrong sometimes. This is why 
we must be judicious when selecting our carriers. Now have a look at this picture. You see that this road the poet has chosen is green and he kept walking on. As he kept walking on, he was surprised to find that the road has become like this because uh, this road which he thought that people might not have taken earlier had been used by others also. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first one for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubt that if I should ever come back. Trodden means walk over. Now that means suspected or unsure or skeptic. Let us try to explain the third stanza. The poet tells us that both the parts were looking similarly fresh that morning. Both had leaves on them, but none had stepped on them like yet. So he thought he would take the second foot and keep the rest for another day. Even after knowing the fact that one way leads on to another way, he also knows that he might not get back to the point again where he could make his choice once more. Similarly, even in our life, once we choose an option, we must keep on moving ahead with that option. And we should know that we will never get a chance to come back to the point where we have started to opt for other option that we had left long ago. Now what happens? If the road or the carrier that we choose in our life proves wrong, we become morbid sometimes, we become sad. Now, if your path becomes successful, you become so happy and feel like that you are enjoying every moment of your life. All right, boys and girls, we have already discussed the first three stanzas. Now is the time that we discuss the last stanza of the farm. Let's read it loudly. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverse in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the differences. Let us try to explain the last stanza of the poem. The poet says that in the future you will take a deep breath to announce that once upon a time he had reached such a point in his life when he had two paths to choose from and he traveled on that road which had been traveled upon by lesser number of people. That decision of his life brought all the differences. Similarly, in future, when you grow up, then you will say that once upon a time when you were young, you had options in your life. Because of the choice that you made long before, you had become what you were now. This is a very strong message for all the students that you should be careful while making choices out of options that you have in your life because your future depends on the choice that you will make today. All right, that is the discussion that we have done. I think you have already understood the point. Before leaving, I am giving you some work. This work should be done by you at home and send me by tomorrow. Okay? In the meantime, you study at home. Don't go out. Remain at home. Be safe. Stay at home. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both 
and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by. And that has made all the difference.